the way I got Firestorm read and noticed, um, you go to grad school for two things. One is to master your craft, and that part of what I did is the mini-movie method. I thought I knew everything when I went to grad school. I read all the books, but the mini-movie method is not really out there in any of the books. If you ever asked yourself, Do I, would I learn something by going to film school that I couldn't pick up with a library card or buying every book uh, from Amazon or Barnes & Noble, uh, about making films or writing screenplays? The answer is yes if you go to USC or yes if you come to me at milliondollarscreenwriting.com. There is a method of story structure out there that is not taught in anybody else's book and that is this method of structuring your story in mini movies. So I mastered my craft there and you also go to grad school uh, for a recognizable name uh, to establish some validation uh, of your talents as a writer and to make some connections in the film industry. So luckily, uh, my thesis advisor was an active film producer as well as a produced screenwriter himself. Uh, he showed my screenplay to his agents, to his management. There was a mini major studio at the time which had made a deal with a major star to pay them $20 million to star in a movie that they didn't have a screenplay for yet. So they were a very motivated buyer. They had an actor, they were on the hook to pay $20 million, and they had no movie to make with him. I had just finished writing an action-adventure movie. They needed one. They were going to lose $20 million if they didn't get one. We sent it over to them and a few other people on the sly. They made an offer the very next day. So it was sort of the perfect storm to sell a script. The motivated buyer, the screenplay they needed completed at just the right time, and uh, a genre that at that time uh, sold like a house on fire, the action-adventure, big-budget, explosive action drama. For a lead character, the most important thing is going to be how that character relates to the story, and I mean it in this specific way. For a leading character, what's their flaw? What's their character arc? How are they going to change? throughout the entire movie, throughout the mini-movie, and in this scene. Now obviously the scene is going to be a small incremental change. The mini-movie will have a mini-movie size change, but the character arc could be a 180 degree change in that character. And this is going to influence every choice you make in the movie. You're going to put them into harder and harder situations, harder for that character to be in and that's going to force them to change. It may nearly destroy them, but ultimately it will strengthen them. So the most important thing when deciding a character is, what is their flaw and how will they change? And how is this going to be hard on my lead character?